Hey girlies, today we'll be checking out the second part of Languages of the British Isles. You guys seem to really enjoy the first part where we checked out Scots, Scots Gaelic, and Scots. Scots is actually a language over in Scotland. And we did Irish and Irish Gaelic, or Gaelic. Yeah. So today we're going to be checking out Wales and England. I'm assuming the English people will be speaking English and the Welsh people will be speaking Welsh. I'm excited to get into them. I hope you are too. Subscribe to me here, like the video. Again, this is my culture channel. We only do cultural videos over here. And yeah, check out my other channels too for music reactions and gaming and vlogs on my favorite world channel. I have a lot of channels. It's hard to keep up. Anyways, here we go into the video. Let me know what y'all think of the new name for you that I'm calling you. My girlies. You know, the American girl, her fans or subscribers, watchers, or her girlies. Let me know. One thing y'all do is sing very well. The drip. So Welsh is also called Caimraig, interesting. So like the um, Gaelic people call Gaelic Gaelic or Gaelic, y'all call your Welsh Caimraig. It seems like music is a big part of that I think culture. it's fair to say that Welsh has got a little bit of a reputation of being a language with lots of difficult sounds and really long words that people really don't want to have to learn because they are a real nightmare to mm. get out. But, you know, this is completely unfounded. And in this one, I'm just going to look at some really easy little Welsh phrases, you know, very small, a few words, so there's nothing to worry about. So the first one, shme, is oh. sort of like hello. But where'd the W go? Shme. I thought it was shwame. Shwame. Or welcome, then there's dwi hilbert, which means my name is hilbert. Borda, which Borda. means good morning. Llanver pythwingeth gogur ichwindro. He's taking the piss. He has to be. He played me in the last video where he was pronouncing all the, like, Scottish names weird. So here I know he's taking the piss. He has to be. Is a place where you can visit in Wales. I'm not being invaded nice. this time. Again, nothing too challenging there. So, <laughs> where in Wales do they speak Welsh? Well, pretty much throughout Wales, some degree of Welsh is spoken, although in some areas, especially such as Anglesey, Gwynedd, and Pembrokeshire, there are oh, clusters sure. of Welsh speakers. These, sure. So many cities throughout the UK that end in the S H I R. We have one, New Hampshire. But y'all have a bunch. Everywhere. Now, Welsh is the only other language in the United Kingdom, apart from English, to have official status, but then only in Wales. And Welsh is taught in, I believe, all schools. And I think ah. roughly a third of schools are completely taught in Welsh, the language. That's actually really cool. Because unlike, you know, Ireland or Scotland from the last video we saw, it seems like Welsh is like, they consider it just as like a, just as important as English. You know, it's taught in the schools. One third, or you think, I think he said, yeah, one third of the schools are just taught in Welsh. Like, Welsh is a big thing over in Wales. Obviously, it's literally called Wales, Welsh. Hello. But it's not the same for Scotland. Or Ireland, really. Because we saw those, they only speak Gaelic really on, like, the countryside. Not towards the main cities. Language of instruction there is Welsh. And as you can see, on the west coast, on the western the western half yeah. of Wales is where Welsh is most spoken, Prominent. again, because the eastern side with the border with England is where yeah. uh, English has had more of an effect on the people there. Yeah. So again, if we look at the Celtic language tree, we see that Wales, instead of being in the Gwadelic branch, like Irish and Scottish Gaelic, is in the Brythonic branch. Now let's have a look mm -hmm. at why there is this distinction between the two. What's Cornish? we got to check out Cornish too, because that's a name I always hear. But they're saying Welsh um, derives from English, and English derives from German. So a lot of influence. And you'll always say favor the Germans and invent English. I know, but it's still kind of derived from the language. So shut up. So, first of all, once upon a time you had the Brythonic languages being spoken in Britain. Now, if you remember, in Ireland, a different group of European farmers, this is the theory that's believed, mm. went to Ireland, and there they spoke the Gaelic languages. Although the Gaelic and Brythonic languages were still related. 
However, when the Anglo-Saxons came in, they brought in a Germanic language, so more like Frisian or Dutch or German, mm. and they pushed the Britons, the Brythonic speakers, into the corners. Uh, and one of the theories is that then uh, Welsh and Cornish are simply versions of the Brythonic that were being spoken there as well. So he's saying basically the people that were kicked out and or whenever the Anglo-Saxons came to you know, do whatever they do, whether it's spread religion, just expand their areas, conquer, whatever. Basically, they brought over this new language. So who was inhabiting the Anglo islands before the Saxons came? Like, who were the original English people, you know? Well, it's possibly Pictish. I'm going to play a little bit of audio from a Welsh vlog channel, which oh. is completely in Welsh. And again, if you want to know where any of the clips came from, or want to watch them again, or find out more, find out more about the languages, then just follow the links in the description below. Mm -hmm. Hello, uh, I'm Sarah Ivashana. I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about this. Do y'all not get tongue-tied? This one sounds like, again, like she's speaking Sims, kind of how Gaelic did, but there's a bit more, like, you can kind of tell it's an actual language, though. And the inflections are very, like, swift with the way that, or I think that may just be the Welsh language in general, or the way she speaks it. But the inflections on the words, I like it. Um, do you like it? She was using an English conjunction there. She said and, and then went back to Welsh. That's interesting. Zoella, uh, Zoella. Vlog, Max Butler. Hey, I get. Um, Dwi and I got in spiary videos now. Can you make a lot of the sauce that you can make? I had a vlog on Beth, Pablo Gaidinate. I can you make a lot of the blends you can make. If anyone understands what she just said, let me know. Translate it down below. I'd assume you can understand it's Welsh, whether she speaks a different way or not. It's like just me hearing someone on the phone talking in English. I can still understand them. So if you understood what she said, translate down below. And that was it for Wales. Come on. Okay, I feel like that was kind of a disservice. We spent literally like maybe three minutes on Wales. So we can check out more Welsh history if you guys want. Just make sure you like the video and comment down below that you want me to. But I guess we're moving on now to England. The English people. Let's do it. Freaking, when you go from, correct, like, um, what's it called? Comparing Gaelic, and now we just heard Welsh, and now I'm here listening to English. English kind of sounds, like, very annoying, loud, and harsh, you know? And that's coming from an English speaker. Like, you had the other ones that were very swift and whimsical and just very flowy, and now you have these sharp words that are very just direct. Uh, maybe it's because I understand the language that I can judge it a bit more, but, eh. I just feel like English isn't one of the prettiest languages in the world. That would be a cool video. What is ranked as the best languages? I feel like French is probably up there. Spanish. Spanish is very nice. Hmm. Maybe that could be a video. Let me know. Over the hills. Oh. My bad. I thought that was the English flag that he showed, but this is Cornish. Cornowick. Going back to the singing in English, what does English sound like to, you know, someone from Wales who doesn't understand English? Does it sound like weird how I thought Gaelic and Wales did? Or Welsh did? That would be cool. What does your language sound like to a foreigner? Hmm. Anyways, we got Cornish. Less oh, syllables. means hello in Cornish. Fatla Geneth means how are you. Kernel is the Cornish word for Cornwall. Now, where in Cornwall do they speak Cornish? Now, Cornish was actually uh, very much in danger of being lost forever. Because Damn. Okay, so it looks like it's on the edge edge of Wales, like at the very end. And it's not a big, massive land. I'm sure they were probably like just pushed, 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 pushed by someone, whether it be the Anglo-Saxons, the Vikings, 
they were definitely probably pushed away from their homelands. Because it did actually go extinct. Oh, but yeah. there have been efforts made in recent years to revive right. the language. And as such, even though there are very small numbers at the moment, there are areas where Cornish is picking up. Now, some of the main areas in Cornwall are Padstow, Bodmin Moor, Land's End, and the Lizard. And these are all areas where the Cornish lizard. is spoken to some degree. Now, I've made, put this map together myself using other information to clearly show where uh, some clusters of Cornish speakers throughout the county of Cornwall are living, but as you can see, very small numbers at the moment. Yeah. Now, Cornish is another Celtic language, and it's in the same vein of Celtic languages as Rhythmic. Welsh is, so it's uh, slightly more distantly related to Irish and Scottish Gaelic. And Cornish as well came from the Brythonic languages, the same situation with Welsh. When the Anglo-Saxons came in, they pushed the mm -hmm. Britons, the uh, Celtic inhabitants of Britain, to the corners. And Cornwall actually held out for a very long time. There were people in Cornwall called the Dumnonii, and the Dumnonii uh, held out against the Anglo-Saxons until they were eventually conquered, I think, by uh, King Athelstan. Oh, freaking Athelstan. I remember that name from, was, wasn't he the one who had the Vikings help him too? I believe it was uh, Ragnar's brother. I can't remember his name though. That just attests to his importance, whatever. But yeah, in the Viking show, it talked all about them. The Vikings, um, the Anglo-Saxons, all those people. So the Anglo-Saxons, wherever they originally came from, not sure, came over to freaking the British Isles and just started terrorizing people. Pushed the Cornish people over to their little corner, but the Cornish people didn't go without a fight, obviously, but probably they were overpowered and just didn't have the resources they need to fight the conquering. And now they were pushed over, not on a small part of Wales, but to their own little junction connected to England. Dang. Wh who? The freaking Anglo-Saxons. Mind your business. Ugh. Everybody's always wanting land, wanting to conquer, including us, you know. That's exactly how America was founded. It's just annoying. Like, everybody just leave everybody alone. You have your own customs. No, one isn't better than another. One religion isn't better than another. Not everybody needs to be a part of your religion or speak your language or look like you. Everybody else has their own stuff going on. Mind your business. Because, you know, it's not fair to the other people. The Welsh people, the Cornish people, or anyone. Hmm. Who was there before... So we know it was the Welsh and the Cornish people, but who else was there before the Anglo-Saxons came? Of Wessex, but for a very long time Cornwall Wessex. was an independent Celtic kingdom. Essex. And they retained the language right the way up North into Umbria. the early 19th century. And now they are trying to revive the language once again. The first time that I ever heard the Cornish Ooh, the language flag. was actually when I was watching TV. And there was an advert for Kelly's Cornish ice cream, which was partially in Cornish. And Kelly's actually does a lot of work to promote the Cornish language. So I'm actually going to show you that advert now to showcase what the Cornish language sounds like. Now it is partially in English and partially in Cornish. So good luck telling it apart. Imarez, now Cavallo of Kelly's Cornish ice cream. That was Cornish. Tasty as. We're Il Cavos, Adam Suerial, Splash, Cornish. Misc, Honeycomb Crunch, Praline Caramel, Adam Webb, Berry Cornish. Eaton Mess. If you grit old Gans Clotted Cream, Dwarf. Am I the only one who doesn't really like fruity ice creams or like desserts like that? Like I don't want a pastry that's filled with jelly and stuff. Like just give me a straight up chocolate chip cookie or just straight up vanilla ice cream. I might that drizzle some like Oreo chips, but probably not. Like I feel like the the vanilla is flavorful enough. I don't need freaking juju beans and drizzled with caramel and stuff. I'm just not like a sweets type of person. Let me know if you are. I like candy though. There's Prithu Moy in Mourns and Agus, a local supermarket. My hello, take home six new parlor flavors. Very country. Wales, right on the Kelly. coast. Beautiful. Cornish for ice cream. Cornwall looks pretty. Okay. So we got another people I didn't know existed. We got the Minx people, and they speak Gaelic, which I assume is a form of ga uh, Gaelic. Beautiful song. Okay, out of all the videos we've done about the languages, I think this one so far is my favorite. It's just really pretty. 
and everything flows and it's just very smooth. I don't know if it's maybe her voice, but I like the language. Let's let's experience the Manx people. And the last language we're going to look at today is the Manx language from the Isle of Man. And Isle of like Man! Irish and Scottish Gaelic, in the Manx language, the word for their language is also something similar to Gaelic. Now I'm going to have a look at some Manx words and phrases. Mor mai is good morning. Mm. Faster mai is good afternoon. Gura maied is thank you. And gaumileshkal is excuse me. Okay, so it's just basic Gaelic. Certain words I like, but certain words are very harsh too. Bla is flower, and castle means castle, Cashel. which is similar to the Irish castle. Where do they speak the different dialects? Well, you have Northern Manx, which is spoken in historically these parishes. So why do they call it Manx and also Isle of Man? Where'd the Isle of Man come from? And aren't they the ones with like the the man like doing some kind of dance? You know, the Welsh people have their dragon, and Isle of Man has the le guy with his legs going like that. Where the Who's the man? Y'all you know how you call the man on the moon and all that kind of sayings? Where did this man come from? And Southern Manx, which is spoken there. And it's generally around the edges, the north and south, where Manx is strongest on the Isle Southern. of Man. Manx is, again, a Celtic language. It is a Gaelic Celtic language from Old Irish, so more closely related to Scottish Gaelic and Irish than to Welsh and Cornish. Mm. Now, how did uh, the Isle of Man end up speaking a Gaelic language? So these ones up here from Brythonic and all that have like German ancestry, and these ones are I would say just have Irish. No, because Irish was comes from that. Still, I think it's Irish history down here and then Germanic history up here. So whether you got Welsh, Cornish, Brythonic, and down here you got the Manx and Scottish and Gaelic and Irish. Instead of a Brythonic language, well, if we go back to the Spano Celtic, again, people in the Spanish? Britain spoke Brythonic and people in Ireland spoke Guadalic as a rule. But the Irish, they came across and they founded the kingdom of Dal Riada, if you remember from Scottish Gaelic. And they also settled on the Isle of Man, bringing their language, Old Irish, with them. Now, of course, then you get people like the Norsemen coming with Viking raids, and Old Norse is introduced, although Old Norse had but a little effect on the Manx language, although they were Good. an important presence in the area. They ruled the Isle of Man and uh, the Lords of the Isles for quite a while. Freaking gosh. Yeah, they are the ones with the do, do crazy legs. But yeah. Where were the defenses? Like, you, the Vikings just came through and did whatever they wanted. Why didn't nobody... Like, who was there to defend your people? Who was... There were, there were no borders or walls put up? Uh, I guess living on an island does make you susceptible to water attacks, but jeez. Eh, I don't know. Now I'm going to play a little bit of Manx being spoke. Right, just inch down, begging me down. Well, um, Ned Madrill as in Gow. Gow. She, um... Remnish Gold Magiat is Mary's Rega, Consumption Shilia, Air Lord, you do this. I strive them drain after Nathal Doom on a gale down and puts on a good smooth act. Remni, me tailrish Ned Mandrel, train, well, Kate McGair, the Jerry, as Remni Ginny record this Jay. Hold me Shilia, er, doing a crane, Kate McGair, yes. So Manx Gaelic sounds like a sleepier form of Gaelic to me, like a more sluggish form. Some honourable mentions for Pictish. other languages of the British Isles are Pictish, Norn, and mm. Cumbric, but unfortunately they didn't stick around long enough to be included in this one. Mm. Alright everybody, thank you very much for watching this video about the other languages spoken in Aww. the British Isles. Look at all the now, ways if you're to say thank in you. this kind of thing and you're new, just hit the subscribe. That's cool. So you got more Ras, Tangmore, thank you, Gura Miyaid, thank ye, thank ye. That's probably the Scottish way. I think Leary from Outlander said it like that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed part two. Let me know what other content you want to check out. Should we check out the, the Nordic people, the Vikings, the Anglo-Freaking-Saxons who just came around and did whatever they wanted all the time? Let me know if we should check out more British history and, like, the conquerings and all that. Or we can even check out American history because ours is basically the exact same, just Americanized. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one, girlies. Bye.